Hi, Steve Miller from A&M Sports Network. Aisha, what was your reaction when you saw Texas A&M's name pop up on the bracket screen? Um, I was super excited because this is the first time I ever made it to the NCAA tournament. And uh, I'm a senior, and it was a lot of excitement. I, I just didn't know what to say. I was shocked. It feels great. Uh, Brent Wagner from the Lincoln Journal Star. Aisha, what's what's it like watching that show when you're you know on the bubble? You're not exactly sure if you're going to get. What's what's the emotions of watching that entire show? Um, like I said, we, our name popped up in the fourth. Like uh, they called our name really fast, and I was just sitting in my chair. I was just screaming all over the place and jumping. I was just full of emotions. You know, it's just exciting to see how far we came. Like this season, we had some lows and like ups and downs, and we just kept fighting. And this is where we are at right now, and it feels great. Janiyah, you obviously had one of the better reactions of the selection show Sunday. Um, how do you move forward from that and get ready to play a game against a team like Nebraska? Um, I think it's just, well, first, of course, you, it's just a blessing to be here. And I think it's, it was really, really cool and fun just to be a part of that. And then, like, I, like Johnny was saying, it's, it was all very, very genuine. Um, we came in the next day or two days later. I think we had an off day. We came in and was ready to work, you know, Johnny. After the selection show, honestly, we we seen the coaches for a little bit and they left. They went to go scout it, and um, they um, came to us and told us that we have a we have a really good chance to do this, and they believe in us. And I think that we're all really excited to be here. And honestly, all respect to Nebraska, all respect to everybody here, but we're 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 ready to do what we need to do, which is win. <laughs> Aisha, playing South Carolina, like coaches, fans, people will say like playing a team like that will make you better. Is that, do you believe any of that or is that just what people say after you have a game like that? Um, I feel like that's what people will say. And I, I know what, what our team is capable of and what I am capable of. It wasn't new. And I just feel like we just stayed composed and played our game. And that's what we got to keep doing going into the game tomorrow as well against um, Nebraska. Steve Miller, Adam Sports Network. Denia, uh, India Rogers played a couple of years just down the road uh, here at, uh, mm -hmm. at Oregon uh, when you guys knew you were coming here. What was her reaction? And what has she told you about playing in this part of the country? Honestly, if you've seen the video that we posted on Texas AM, she was on the side over here in like one of these. Like she, was, <laughs> she was really, really excited. Um, uh, we landed in Eugene, actually, and we drove over to here. I don't know, ex oh, Corvallis. We drove over here. Um, she just, she's just excited herself. Um, she's back in Pac-12 country, and I think she's excited to play and you know, get back to her you know, regular self because she's back on the court. But um, I'm excited for her to be back here, and hopefully she can do you know, what she did when she was at Oregon for us. Brandon Collins, Texas A&M Athletics, AC. Um, what challenges did, does Nebraska present to y'all, and how, what will it take to, to uh, play a great game tomorrow? I think it's going to take a lot of mental focus for us. And they have a lot of shooters, and we have to be ready to contest every shot. Um, you know, just staying, you know, stick to our own defensive principles and do what we're told to do and follow the game plan and the scouting and stuff. Doing our job, like, it's going to take everybody. Not only one person can win this game. And, you know, just getting stops and, like, offensively executing our offense and just, you know, staying focused the whole game. Like, it's going to be a mental game for sure. So we just got to stay locked in and play our game and not get distracted. Steve Miller, AM Sports Network. Janai, what's the biggest change for you as a player from last season to this season? Um, I would think for me it, as a player, my my role. I think last year I was a more freer person just because I was a freshman and just trying to, you know, figure out what was really going on. I think this year I have uh more on my plate as the coaches give me, which is a blessing as well. But just to just to be a better leader, just to be a better um, example of what a, a good teammate should be, a good a good player should be, a good, a good listener. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a lot of stuff that they told me about me mentally. You know, just learning from those types of things. But I've grown a lot, and I'm I'm really happy for my for my coaching staff to you know give me those types of things to 
get better at and grow forward. So, yeah, I've grown just being a better Janaya. Any more questions? Okay, thanks for your time. Thank you, guys.